Welcome back to Memo's Tech Tips. Wow. Second video, same day, same week, tomorrow. Not sure, okay? I'll upload it, though. Just want to talk about, real quick, um, in general, about server OS and, uh, like, workstations OS and saving money, okay, for your clients, making them happy, uh, gets you more money, like, you know, because it's, like, it's good reputation, you know? Um, anyways. Unless you sell OS for Microsoft. Anyways. So. Um, Windows Server OS. Uh, you know. We all use it. Um, but. You don't have to get it. If we don't need it. Okay. If it's not required. You don't have to get it. Okay. You don't have to use it. It's expensive. Um, it's a lot of shit you have to. You know. Set up. And so, unless you're messing around with Active Directory, D, uh, DH, uh, DC, uh, DHCP, um, things like that, uh, other roles that Server OS has, blah, 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 all of those. Um, uh, let me introduce you guys to Windows 10 Pro for workstations. Um, something a lot of techs don't know about. Um, this came out uh, like a year ago, I want to say two years ago um anyways it's 300 bucks plus tax wherever you're at and um it supports four cpus and up to six terabytes of memory okay so really good um and you know like a workstation like it'll be like you know workstations with quadro cards even even just gpus that are doing um other gpu intensive stuff um uh you know video video like uh video stations and things like that this is like really good for those um type of uh, computers but even servers even working as a server um it's really good because it unlocks um little things that stop windows pro um like uh power saving stuff in the background that it's really hard to turn off that uh kind of like uh, like straw holes your CPU, anyways. And Windows Pro, I don't know why they call it Pro. If you're gonna install Candy Crush and all these other shit, okay. So oh, right here, uh, cause I I haven't done it yet over here. So, uh, boom, okay. Um, and this is like not like everything still shit in there. Okay, you're gonna pre-install Office like. Not well, these are not pre installed, but like I don't need this here, okay. I don't, we you know, we, we don't use this fucking mail app, okay. We don't use, we don't need none of this Spotify, like why is it even there? All these pre installed games and shit, I, we why is this here? Why, anyways? Um, I'm gonna, I'll come back and I'll show you a fresh install of Windows 10 for workstation, um. The problem is that they don't have an ISO for this, okay? Oh, let me go back to real quick. So advanced performance, right? It unlocks, you know, when you go to the power, so power and savings in, um, well, not here, uh, right here. So actually, oh, my hands it because I've done. So it unlocks this, it's ultimate performance, ultimate performance. So that unlocks, um, that sets certain things on the power, like I said, in the power features that gives this, like, I don't have the things on here, but it, um, it like clocked like about 300, 400 points more in, um, Cinebench, Cinebench. I want to say Cinebench, um, than it was on Windows 10 Pro. And I see that from every station not every station a few stations that i've done it to so it definitely helps for performance um it has um server grade data protection okay so it has the refs uh file system okay so microsoft resilient file system um have not really messed around with it uh but it um is if you look it up, it's something to do with duplication, like mirroring and uh, their backups, 
like like it's almost like raid but it's not raid it's i'm, I'm just really hard to I, I suck at explaining things but you guys can look it up um and again four cpus see uh six terabytes of memory okay um so no iso on this okay so what it says here to do for uh windows 10 pro uh i had it here i don't know where i put it anyways what the when you buy it it tells you to download the media creator and then when it asks you for the product key to put the product key well when i put the product key it's like invalid product key okay um it, it does the list doesn't even contain um like windows 10 it like you know how it contains windows 10 uh home then like you know uh home and uh blah 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 network like it contains the list like windows 10 pro for workstations is not on that list i try to get it it is like nowhere so the uh even even online what so the way they do the way another way to do it is you install windows 10 pro then you go to the activation window to um You go to the activation window and over here you change the key okay so over here you change the key um i think I, it says i have a value because there was windows not sure uh, anyways so you change the key here and then It'll, it'll say Windows 10 Pro for workstations. Um, then it'll like download a few files. You can reboot and then you'll have that ultimate performance option. But it still has like the bloatware. Okay. So if you want a fresh install, right, of Windows 10 Pro, what you do is you um, you reset. Right. So once you have it, once you have it installed, it, now you have a di digital license to the computer. So you do a... Um, a, a reset of this PC and you do a don't save anything and what it does is from what I see uh, what I test it either downloads the ISO the Win uh, Windows Pro uh, for workstation ISO installs it uh, or downloads Windows 10 uh, and then it activates the, it does the key because when you go in and I'll show you guys uh, once I do it there's no bloatware there's just Windows 10 Pro for workstations and it's like so clean um so yeah so it's, oh so instead of you know let, let me go back real quick so system requirements like i was talking about so over here this this application that they use called dentrix is from harry shine um so they recommend um supported operating systems here this is for g6 they have g7 this is no longer supported by microsoft so no um so it says no Windows Seven, blah blah. Windows Eight can be used as operating system, uh, but not recommended. Da da da. When I spoke to them, this, you know, I've been speaking to them for years now. Um, they say Windows Ten Pro can be used as a workstation if you have less than ten workstations. Um, sorry, if Windows Ten can Pro can be used as a server operating system if less than ten workstations are being are activating are accessing the server at once okay so at once meaning concurrent okay so if, and if you go to their new um g7 they have to update this because it says windows 7 windows 7 is no longer supported it does have windows 10 on there and then it says windows server 2008 r2 and higher so here it even says it here like eight, eight gigabytes of ram less than 10 workstations 16 gigabytes of ram is on the server more than 10 workstations so there's something about 10 workstations that it just um it needs that okay so yeah whatever yeah uh, more workstations more ram you need to access okay um so windows discontinued support for windows 7 so i mean they i mean okay they have the um they have the little stars i didn't see that um it can still run but it's no longer supported and uh, this being a medical office no longer hipaa compliant um 
So, and then it says server essentials, including uh, essentials role uh, and small business are currently not supported due to port conflicts with backups. So, um, they, de they say definitely don't run those, okay? But you can run Windows 10 Pro or better, Windows 10 Pro for workstations. Um, and by the way, the, the whole performance boost um, uh, usually comes with like higher, like, like it, from what I've seen, I have this i7, but it really affects the uh, Xeon processors. Um, and I think Windows 10 Pro, I have, didn't look at it. I think Windows 10 Pro for workstations um, does support uh, ECC memory. So uh, it's really good. Uh, take a look at it, um, study it. Um, so, oh, you're, so you, you know, you're gonna save your client. So, let's say you buy the the, the um, license from Microsoft. It's a thousand three hundred thirty five cows, right? Well, we actually need ten cows here. So, ten cows, a thousand five hundred twenty-eight. Buy from Micro Center, the OEM. Um, that's eight hundred for the OS and two packs of cow, right? That's a thousand two hundred, pretty much almost same thing. Well, not really. It's a difference of. $200. So 1200 and so again Windows Server Pro not I'm sorry OS uh Pro for workstations uh cost uh, uh 300 bucks plus tax. So you're saving your client around $1000, $1000 that could be used towards networking equipment, uh upgrading the server, more RAM, more mem uh, more SSDs um or even <laughs> getting a whole new server you know what i'm saying like that that's what's crazy about it you can get i can get literally a better server saving that thousand dollars i can get her uh there's a 2013 server 2012 server uh it doesn't even have usb like i said in the other video usb 3 um so i can get her a way better server for that money um so i'll be back uh i think i don't know how to splice this together i'm so bad and show you guys Windows Server 10 Pro. I'll do it in another video. I won't do it in this video. I'll do it in another video when I'm kind of done with everything. I'll show you guys. Okay? Peace. Thank you. Love, love.